Good afternoon. Keep the video on. Yes. All of you keep the videos on. Hello, Alan Vagis. How are you? Fine, ma'am. Okay. So, in the previous class, what did we learn in accountancy? Yes. We had completed a chapter. What is the name of that chapter? Nobody knows the name? What is that, Alan? Alan Shibu? What was that chapter? Man, trial balance. Trial balance. What is trial balance? Aman? Man, trial balance is a statement. <laughs> trial balance is a statement. Mm, arithmetic accuracy of the credit balance. Uh, passbook and cash book. Huh? Passbook? Uh, cash, cash book? Cash book, cash book. <laughs> no, no, that is bank reconciliation statement. Bank journal? Ah, journal and ledger to yes. check the arithmetic accuracy of all the books prepared till then. All the ledger balances are transferred to this statement. That is trial balance to check the arithmetic accuracy. Okay. Then how did you check the arithmetic accuracy? We transfer all the balances. Then what happened? And now? How do we know? Debit side is equal to credit side. Debit side. We'll write the debit balance in the debit amount column and credit amounts in the credit side. Okay. Then Then what to do? Where's Pranav? Ah, say. Hmm. We should get both the amount columns tallied. It should be both the same amounts. When you find the total of debit balance as well as the credit balance, you should get the same totals. Correct? And if you are not getting the same amounts, what does that mean, Anish? Um, uh, it is uh, wrong. Hmm, it is wrong. Where is it wrong? On the calculation, uh, either debit or credit. Ah, somewhere you have made a mistake. And sometimes, even though, even sometimes we get both debit column as well as credit column as equal. Still, there could be some errors. Okay, so mainly. Trial balance is prepared to detect some errors. Detect the errors if there is any errors to find out the errors. And you came to know that there is some problem. There is some error. Then what to do? What will we do? Hmm? For your exam, by mistake or due to some reason, a question went wrong. What is the next step to do? Hmm? Hmm, you don't do anything? In the next exam also, you will do, make the same mistake? Um, we will correct it. Ah, we will correct it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Will you correct it? All of you? Okay. So, we are moving towards the next chapter. That is rectification of errors. Okay, rectification of errors. Yes, Alan, what happened? Hmm? Keep the video on, everyone. Why the videos are off? So, we start with a new chapter that is rectification of errors. So, what did I say till now? What did we discuss? We prepared our trial balance. Okay, sometimes trial balance will not be tallied. Why? That is because of some errors. You might have committed some mistakes. You in the sense, the one who prepares it, the accountant. 
one who prepares the books of accounts accountants as we are all human mistakes are normal we make mistakes but the thing is we should correct it right and sometimes we would say everything is done by the computer it is computerized still who is using this computer again it is the normal human being so mistakes are common and it's not a big problem if you find some mistakes that should be corrected clear so that is called rectification of errors rectification rectification means what to correct the errors pavitra keep the video on krishna keep it on keep it on yes so let us start with the new chapter rectification of errors a trial balance is prepared to check the arithmetical accuracy of transactions recorded in a journal posting them into the ledger and balancing the ledger accounts if a trial balance agrees it is assumed that recording posting and balancing have been carried out correctly however if it does not agree efforts are made to locate the error if the trial balance are not getting tallied what you do first thing is you should find out where did you make the mistake okay locate the error but an agreed trial balance is not a conclusive proof of accuracy of records and you cannot say that if the trial balance is tallied that means whatever done till then is perfect no you cannot conclude it like that even though you get a tallied trial balance agreed trial balance still there could be mistakes okay even when trial balance agrees some errors may still remain in the accounting records for example non recording of a credit purchase in the purchase book suppose there was a transaction a credit purchase transaction you forgot you forgot to write it to record it the trial balance will agree you forgot it will that affect the trial balance the preparation of trial balance you will get both the columns tallied okay so there could be such errors also so that is a point because you can expect such concepts for assertion reasoning and as you know now you know the various kinds of questions asked okay statement 1 is given trial balance if agreed it is correct perfect you can conclude is that true no even if the trial balance is tallied you cannot conclude it that it is correct okay so that was about an introduction of rectification of errors so you understood no what is rectification of errors so the main concept to be kept in mind is trial balance even if it agrees still there can be some errors in the accounting process okay clear okay next we are moving towards the types of errors which are the different kinds of errors the classification of errors okay so all the errors can be classified into four category four category how many category rahul Four. four categories okay so the first one is please take down these four errors of omission number 1 errors of omission errors of commission errors of principle compensating errors so 
these are the different types of errors errors of omission errors of commission errors of principal compensating errors okay now let us see in detail what are these errors okay the first one is error of omission easy to understand from the name itself errors of omission an error of omission is an error when a transaction is completely or partially omitted from being recorded in the books of accounts okay either completely or partially omitted from being recorded in the books of accounts again the error of complete omission that is also easy from the word itself you can know it arises if a transaction is not recorded in the books of accounts or a transaction recorded in the journal is not posted in the ledger either it is not recorded in the journal or it is there in the journal but you forgot to post it in the ledger anyway it is omitted either from the journal or from the ledger and such errors do not affect the trial balance okay such errors do not affect the trial balance because the complete entry has not been posted in the ledger accounts okay so that is easy it is forgotten it is not recorded so what happens it is not going to affect trial balance okay now the next one error of partial omission partial omission if a transaction is not completely recorded or if completely recorded has not been completely posted it is there in the journal but it is not posted to the ledger completely of course the journal entry is say hmm, purchase account debtor to krishna account okay purchase account debtor to krishna account you have the journal but you forgot to prepare you forgot to write this purchase account in the you forgot to post it in the purchase account krishna account is also it is prepared krishna account is prepared but purchase account is not complete purchase account is not posted so that is partial it is raining heavily here i am screaming on top of my voice is it raining in your places is it here it is so dark and heavily raining okay so what happens error of partial omission as a result trial balance does not agree does not agree example of such error are credit sales recorded in the sales book but not posted in the party's account or total of being or the total not being carried to the next page see as i said raj account letter to sales this is an entry so raj account letter to sales this is a credit sale transaction correct it is credit sales
Keep the video on. Should I post the picture of these of videos in the group? 